What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Ark and today guys we are taking a look at the Lightning Wyvern. Now the Lightning Wyvern cannot be tamed, it has to be raised from an egg that you have stolen um, and you can only find these eggs for the Lightning Wyvern on Ragnarok and Scorched Earth. They are the only two locations that you will be able to find a Lightning Wyvern egg. Now we have talked about Wyverns in previous A to Z of Arcs. Um, however, we'll do it again real briefly. So first up, they're able to carry a bunch of different creatures. We'll chuck up the list of them up on the screen for you guys to see right now. Uh, it ranges anywhere from Stegos to Raptors to even smaller Tames like Hyenodons and stuff like that. So you can pick up Tames and Wild Dinos with the Wyvern. When you are landed, however, that C button turns into a Wing Flap, which you can use to pretty effectively harvest a bunch of Thatch in your area. It also knocks back any dinos in the vicinity that you don't want to be up in your face. So for example, we've got an Equus over here. We don't like the way he's looking at us. We'll send him flying away. Now you can do this with enemy tames as well. However, obviously if there's terrain around you, you will get blocked. They do have a primary attack, which is a bite ability. You can see there they are pretty strong. And the Lightning Wyvern is honestly one of probably the best DPS Wyvern. His Lightning Breath just does so much damage. You can see there the ticks are crazy. This... Look at that damage. We've just totally gone and melted whatever level Rex this was, pretty much. Um, we don't obviously have enough stamina because we were flying around and flapping and stuff, but this is also with base level melee damage. So how much melee damage have we got? 352. So we haven't even imprinted on this one or anything. or bred it for mutations, which they are now breedable as well. So, you know, you're looking at easily being able to dish out a crap ton of damage with your Lightning Wyvern. In order to raise the egg, though, you will need Wyvern Milk, which can be gained from knocking out female Wyverns. Um, and you have to raise them from that baby form into their adult form and you will need to imprint on them as well to maximize the amount of damage and health that they receive but uh yeah guys that's pretty much all there is for the for the lightning wyvern we've covered this one before it is hands down probably my favorite wyvern um, and in terms of dps definitely in my opinion once again does the most amount of damage out of all the wyverns um, because it's just absolutely crazy. You can use this guy to take out Titanosaurs. You can use this guy to take out Gigas. If you've got a bunch of mates that you've got flying around with Wyverns, you can easily melt a Titanosaur in like 10 minutes. Titanosaurs have over like a million health. I think they've got a crap ton of health. So you can definitely uh, destroy Titans. Um, all you need to do is really just fly around and dodge it. That's it. And because of their ranged breath attack, you will not come into contact with the Titanosaur and won't take any damage. It's great. Same goes for the Gigas and literally anything else that you're trying to attack. As long as you've got enough stamina to sustain your flight and you can get away from them, you're looking at flying indefinitely around them and dealing maximum amount of damage to them. So yeah, the Lightning Wyvern hands down the best one out of all the lot, I reckon. One thing to note about the Lightning Wyvern, however, is if you do use your Breath Attack, make sure you do not dismount your Lightning Wyvern because it will pretty much instantly kill you. You can see we have Creative Mode on, but what we're going to do, we're going to turn Creative Mode off. We're going to jump back on our Wyvern here, and we're going to fire our Breath Attack out. And if you jump off, pretty much guaranteed an insta-kill, regardless of the amount of armor you got on. So you need to be really careful when dismounting, if you're dismounting your Lightning Wyvern with a Breath Attack. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.